Adopt a content-first sales funnel. By content-first, what I mean is that your sales strategy must turn on content. In other words, you use quality content to qualify the traffic you get from Instagram so they are more likely to become paying customers. This is crucial because a lot of marketers on Instagram use it as a traffic pump. That's all it is to them. It's just a place where they can get clicks. And if those clicks do not turn into buyers, no big deal. There's more where that came from. That's their attitude. Well, the problem with that strategy is that you burn through a tremendous amount of traffic before you can get a sale. What if I told you that you can pull less traffic, but actually make more money with a lower volume of traffic? This happens all the time. This is not theory. This is not speculation. This happens all the time. How? Using content to qualify your traffic. Make no mistake, Instagram and successful social media marketing turn on content marketing. You can't just pull traffic from all these places and expect that traffic to convert. That traffic must trust you. Those are real people. They must be made to feel that they know and like your brand enough for them to trust it. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen instantly. It has to go through a sequence of content. Make no mistake, raw traffic doesn't convert at a high enough return on investment. It simply doesn't. Because if this was the case, then everybody would stop wasting their time on content. They wouldn't bother. They would just buy raw traffic. But this isn't the case. Experienced marketers on Facebook and Instagram use a content-based sales funnel strategy. In other words, they use content marketing. The truth is, content marketing is more compatible with social media traffic, regardless of whether you buy ads or you drum up free organic traffic from Instagram and other social media platforms. The KLT process. Let me ask you, when was the last time you bought something from a complete and total stranger? That's right. This person just came up to you on the street and tried to sell you stuff. I'm willing to guess that this happens once in a blue moon. If you're like most people, this probably has never happened. Well, you're absolutely normal if that's your mindset. Why? Most people buy from people they think they know and trust. That's the bottom line. That is the bedrock of any kind of sales. I don't care whether it's done online or offline. It doesn't matter whether a small company or a big company is doing it. It's all about trust. When you use a content-based sales funnel strategy for Instagram, you build trust. This requires multiple pages. I wish I could tell you that you just need two pages to pull this off. I wish I could tell you that you just need to get people to a general consumer guide and then they would reliably click through to the sales page and they would buy stuff. That's wishful thinking. Now, don't get me wrong. This happens from time to time. I know it happens to me quite a bit, but I cannot bank on that. What I can bank on is trust. How? When people from Instagram find their way to my website, they land on a consumer page that addresses their needs. They're looking for answers. They're looking for solutions. So they get all this information and then they can click through for more finely tuned, more efficient or better value solutions. When you do this, you build credibility and authority. You also control the conversation. You then offer them a freebie to join your mailing list. Once they join your mailing list, that's when the real selling begins. You already have them in the palm of your hand. You then drip feed them content to open their mind to their needs and get them excited about premium solutions. The more of these premium solutions you sell them, the more money you make. The best part of having a mailing list is that this asset grows in value over time. When you send an update, you may not be able to convert them right then and there, but you get another chance to convert them when you send out another update. Fast forward this to many months or even years, and you can see why every single person on your list can potentially turn into dollars later on. None of this is possible without the KLT process. You have to walk the visitor to the point where they trust you. Working a multi-page strategy. Once you pull traffic from Instagram to a page on your site, you have to have links in that initial content that would take them to a page that would further build their trust. For example, if people are just looking for basic information, the first page they would land on let them know of certain options out there. Once they are excited about a particular option, they can click another link that would take them to a page that talks about a specific type of option, which they obviously already like. This page then gives enough details that they build trust. At this point, you can then recruit them to your squeeze page and let your mailing list do the selling. You can also give them the answer in the form of a freebie in exchange for them signing up for your email list. Whatever the case may be, 
you walk the visitor through the trust stage. This can be very quick with some people. Others require a longer time span. Whatever the case may be, when you have a mailing list at the end of the sales funnel, you have greater control over your messaging. You also control the pace of the messaging. This higher level of control translates to greater conversion control later on. 